powerful stories that change the way you think. Impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. We are alone. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> Amazing. Now available in a place that changes the way you watch TV. <laughs> Inside Edition. Streaming. So the standard advice when someone lives near wildlife is to keep food away and keep the doors locked. Unfortunately, this persistent bear in Sevierville, Tennessee, saw the door was locked and had a plan B. When three cubs are hungry, you gotta do what you gotta do. Something terrifying is about to happen. A little girl is skipping along in her driveway. She's anxious to see if her costume for Halloween has arrived in the mail. But what is that over there? It's a coyote. Five-year-old Christine has no idea the wild beast is stalking her. When she walks into the yard, the coyote follows her. That's when Christine turns around and realizes what's going on. Christine showed us how she reacted. <coughs> The coyote chases her around the tree. It was a really alarming scream. No one in the family had ever seen a coyote in their neighborhood outside Chicago. She said, a coyote chased me and I felt its fur. And I was like thinking that can't be. But when mom looked at the video from the surveillance camera, she was flabbergasted. It's very disconcerting to watch um, that he stalked her, that, you know, it was kind of like a horror movie for me. Keep your eyes on this kid. Seven-year-old Preston is about to make a big mistake. He pops a coin into his mouth. Right away, he realizes he's choking. Preston runs to the bus driver. She thinks he's car sick. But very quickly, bus driver Raquel Baker realizes it's life or death. Preston goes limp as she carries him off the bus in Dallas. Raquel is also doing the Heimlich maneuver. It worked. Out popped a quarter. Turns out it wasn't a penny after all. Preston's mom, Giovanna, can't bring herself to watch the video. She saved my baby's life that day. She is both of our heroes. Me and Preston, we look at her as our, our angel. And Preston, he's been getting the same advice from everyone. Please don't do it again, Preston, please. <laughs> I just clocked your son at 132 miles an hour. 132 miles an hour. A 16 year old hit 132 miles per hour on Florida's Interstate 4, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Whose car is this? Tell your father I need him here now. While a badge can wield authority, disappointing dad is often worse. Dad, this is Corporal Ricker at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. I need you to come out here and uh, pick up your son. The 16-year-old received a speeding citation and was ordered to appear in court, but having a deputy call his dad had to be the worst punishment. 132 miles an hour. A little girl was rescued after a giant wave pushed her into the ocean. The terrifying scene happened in Devon on the southeastern shore of England. Authorities say four children were playing on the pier during high tide when a wave knocked a girl off her feet and swept her between the railings and into the sea. As the waves pushed the little girl further into danger, one brave adult rushed into the water to rescue her. Another bystander ran to get a life buoy. According to officials, the child and her rescuers are doing well. It may be total chaos at the airport, but this passenger has the entire plane to himself. I am the only person on the plane. How many bags do you have to load today, bro? Total of one. <laughs> the passenger was booked on an American Airlines flight from Oklahoma City to Charlotte that he says was delayed for 18 hours. When they did finally call his flight, he was the only one who showed up. I get to the gate and nobody's there except for the gate agent. And I looked at her and I said, did you already board everyone? Like, am I late? And she goes, no, honey, 
Uh, you're the only passenger on this flight. During the two-hour journey, the flight attendants gave Phil Stringer their undivided personal attention. Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> they gave me all the food and drink that I wanted. They let me sit wherever I wanted. Stringer says he's even become buddies with the crew. I got the phone numbers of, of the crew members. I mean, we're literally texting each other today. Chaos at a little boy's birthday party. A freak wind sent a bouncy house flying across the family's backyard in Wills Point, Texas. Everybody chased it to try to stop the giant inflatable. Fortunately, no one was injured. It's a race against the clock to save a three-week-old baby. He's breathing. Is he breathing? It looks like he's holding his breath. The little guy is choking and struggling to breathe. Police body cam video shows his mom overcome with emotion. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. You're okay. Baby Grady slowly starts to come too, but is still having a hard time breathing. Come on, baby. There's them eyes. Finally, the sound everyone was waiting for. He lets out a big cry. So what was Grady choking on? Turns out it was gas relief drops, which are commonly given to babies struggling with stomach pain. Why on earth is this four-year-old girl boarding a bus all alone in the middle of the night? It's 3 a.m. when little Annabelle climbs aboard a bus in Philadelphia, having walked five blocks in the rain to the bus stop. Oh man, I was like, oh, gotta be kidding me. The bus driver, Harlan Jennifer, couldn't believe his eyes when he watched the tiny child in a purple raincoat and pajamas board his bus. And he couldn't believe his ears when he heard what Annabelle wanted. All I want is a slushie. <laughs> That's all she said. He got on the phone to the cops who arrived to take Annabelle off the bus. Authorities say the girl wandered out of the house without the knowledge of her parents, who will not face charges. Mom is grateful to have her daughter back. Promise me next time you'll wait for me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're full of snow. A big bear comes over. His back is itching from all the snow. Did you turn around because you want me to scratch you? Do you want this? She rakes the snow off his back. You want me to scratch you? Get all the snow off you? Yeah, that's coming off of you. Ooh, that felt so good. Sit. Good boy. Guy was having some fun fooling around at the hardware store, but he may regret doing this. He put a plunger on his head and watch what happened. It stuck. He tries and tries to remove it and the arm broke off. Oh no, what can he do now? He tries and tries some more and then he finally gets the last idea. Maybe just cover it up with his hoodie and he's good to go. Horrifying video shows a pit bull pounce on a six-year-old boy and knock him to the ground. Little Mason Lindemann was playing in his driveway with friends when the pit bull escaped from a neighbor's home and attacked, clamping his jaw down on the boy's head. The boy's friends run for help as Mason struggles to break free. Suddenly, a hero comes to the rescue. The teen who heard the boy's screams runs right into the path of danger. Watch as he deliberately diverts the pit bull's attention. Now the dog goes after him, giving the six-year-old kid a chance to run home. The hero neighbor is also attacked when he loses his sneaker and falls to the ground. And here he is, Grant Brown. He's a 19-year-old college student and just enlisted in the Army National Guard. Grant suffered bite injuries to his hand while fighting off the pit bull. The dog was right on top of me, so I tried to grab his throat and it bit me. But he says he would do it all again. I don't think I'm a hero. I just think that I did the right thing. Stop. A judge has approved a lawyer's request to be withdrawn from the case after his client attacked him in court. Taylor Shabiznis was in court for a hearing when she attacked her defense attorney as he was sitting next to her. A court officer pulled her to the ground, but the defendant made it difficult for him to restrain her. We're in the courtroom. The attorney said their attorney-client relationship was irretrievably broken, and Shabiznis has since been assigned a new public defender. Shabiznis is accused of killing and mutilating her boyfriend a year ago in Wisconsin. 
Shea Business is still undergoing evaluations by mental health professionals to determine if she is competent to stand trial. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and third-degree sexual assault. She has pleaded not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. Her trial is set to begin in May. What is Inside Edition? It's this. And this. And this. And also this. It's sometimes this. It's never this. But it always brings you more to the story. And now it's always available. Inside Edition Streaming. This dog wasn't going to get taken without a fight. Police in the UK say this video shows an intruder entering a home and dog napping this dachshund named Twiglet. With the alarm blaring and Twiglet barking, the suspect chased the dog, cornered it, and after some wrangling, walked out of the home with the dog. Cops say Twiglet was found and returned to his owners the next day. But hopefully he taught this suspect a lesson. Don't judge a dog by its size. A carnival worker hung 30 feet in the air to protect a 12-year-old girl. The ride operator was helping a child into the cabin when a strong gust of wind sent the ride into motion. For three minutes, the man's legs dangled as he tried to protect the child from falling out of the ride's open door. Other fair workers got control of the stuck machinery and were able to bring them down without injuries. It's a hailstorm, and these people seek shelter inside a shop. But wait, somebody else hates the rain. That's one pigeon who thinks this weather is for the birds. These kids watching TV don't know it yet, but there's danger in the air. Watch as the eldest, nine-year-old Tristan Cook, smells smoke. He gets up and opens the door to the den. Look, the room is in flames. Tristan leaps into action. He's persistent. His sister zooms out on her hoverboard, and the other siblings run to safety, too. The whole family makes it out, but the house outside Nashville was destroyed. Everyone came out unscathed. I spoke to Tracy Cook and her quick-thinking son today. Tracy, did Tristan save your whole family? Yes, he's our little hero. He was so diligent about sticking with it and saying, Mom, 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 there's a fire. As for Tristan's family? Kiddos, what do you think about Tristan? Is he a hero? You're about to see something truly terrifying. That's a fox sneaking up on a woman in her front yard. From this angle, you can see the attack. She kicks the fox over and over, but the animal keeps coming back. It's biting her legs and scratching her arms as she tries to break free. The more I tried to get him to leave me alone, the more vor voraciously he came after me. He just wouldn't stop. And my fear was that he was going to trip me up and I would fall and he would attack my face. The fox won't give up. He latched into my the fatty part of your hand right between your thumb and your forefinger with all of his might and he held on and I, I tried to rip him off. I tried to swing him off. But then her neighbor shows up with a stick and at last the fox retreats. I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life and, and I, I just thank God that, that he heard me. And that's how you take down a World War II era Soviet monument symbolizing the friendship between Russia and Ukraine. With the Russian invasion well into its second year, people in Ukrainian cities like Lviv aren't exactly feeling the love for their Russian neighbors. A little girl gets the scare of her life while splashing along the beach. That's a shark in the shallow water and it just bumped her. The girl was just a few feet from shore and her mom was recording with her cell phone when suddenly the shark appeared out of nowhere. She was running out of the water yelling there was a shark in the water. So I dropped my phone immediately and I was just like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It was scary. Experts say little Anella was likely bumped by a black tip shark, which commonly feed on fish in shallow water. 
While normally timid, a black tip can become aggressive if it mistakes a human's hand or a foot for food. The frightening encounter happened off the coast of Oahu near Honolulu. Anella says she doesn't particularly care what kind of shark it was. I don't know, but I wasn't going to stick around to find out. <laughs> this driver received the surprise of his life. What the hell is going on? While driving through Montebello, California, he captured the moment a tornado ripped through multiple buildings. Look at the trash can! It's a tornado, bro! The driver and a passenger were in awe as strong winds destroyed a roof. The roof flying! Oh my god! Roof the gone! Whole roof coming up! Other pieces of debris twirled in the air as wind speeds reached 110 miles per hour, making it the strongest tornado to hit the Los Angeles area in 40 years. And it's road rage in the extreme. It started when a 22-year-old motorist rear-ended a Range Rover in LA. Then he rams into the pickup behind him. You can hear the tires screeching. Then he slams into a truck, and he's not finished yet. He puts the Mustang in reverse and floors it, hitting a Porsche traveling in the other direction. Hey! This bus driver doesn't have road rage. She's trying to stop a child from getting hit by a car. Cecilia Nation Gardner is a driver with the Milwaukee County Transit System, and she was in the right place when a six-year-old boy needed help. Officials say he wandered away from school in the middle of the day and right into a busy intersection. Cecilia risked her own safety, running into traffic to try to help the child. We're going to call the police, okay? So we can get you home. Have a seat right here. She was able to take him by the hand and bring him on board the bus where she called for backup. I have a little boy here. Can y'all send me police over here? We're supposed to be about to get hit by a car. Police were able to reunite the boy with his family, and he wasn't harmed thanks to Cecilia's intervention. Absolute terror. A passenger just opened the airplane door mid-flight a feat said to be impossible. 194 passengers are on board and they're getting battered by the intense wind. Imagine how they must be freaking out. The plane was 600 feet off the ground, minutes from landing in South Korea when it happened. Witnesses say the passenger was sitting next to the emergency door. He apparently showed no signs that anything was wrong when he suddenly removed a plastic cover, pulled a lever and the door slid open. The most important thing to identify in this story is the phase of flight that this occurred in. This was at the landing of the aircraft. It actually is possible to open an emergency exit door. It is physically impossible to open that door at its normal cruising altitude. Nine people had to be treated at the hospital for breathing difficulties. Talk about scary. A California freeway was shut down because of a smoking backpack. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Arson and Explosive Detail responded to what authorities called a suspicious item on the side of a five freeway on-ramp in Burbank. Police say they conducted a closer inspection, at which time the backpack caught fire and burned completely. Investigators have not yet determined what was contained inside the backpack. An explosion occurred on the side of an Ohio highway. The Summit County Sheriff's Office shared this video from May 2022, showing a dump truck traveling on Interstate 77 that veered onto the right shoulder. That truck struck a vehicle belonging to the Ohio Department of Transportation. The impact of the collision caused an explosion, and both vehicles caught on fire. Both drivers survived and were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Where? Where? A backyard pool party turned into a parent's nightmare when a two-year-old began to drown. Body camera footage from Michigan's Sterling Heights Police Department shows the moment an officer arrived to help. Where at? Where? Thankfully, both of this child's parents knew CPR. The mother began chest compressions and the father started rescue breaths. Oh, he's breathing. He's yes, breathing. we got him breathing. 
The boy was still struggling to breathe, so the officer patted his back to clear his airway. Powerful stories. Impactful investigations. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? And a little bit of fun. Your is in the pool. On Inside Edition Streaming. A man attempted to abduct a barista through a drive through window, according to authorities. Police in Auburn, Washington posted video of a man they say attempted to drag the victim through the window using a looped zip tie device. The barista fought off the suspect, who drove away. Auburn Police Department has arrested a suspect in this case. An iron worker fell 150 feet into the Detroit River. Look very closely. That black dot is the moment he fell, and you can see a splash of water. Will he survive? A family nearby saw it all happen. You see a little girl pulling on a door. A relative is with her. You see somebody? Yeah, he right there. Somebody just stop. 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 He was working on the bridge. We heard really loud banging on our side door and people yelling that somebody had fallen from the bridge. Captain Sam Buchanan, who works for a boating company, rushed into action. They were pointing to help us. They're like, there he is, there he is. I see him. Get him, get him, get him. Right there. They got him. They he really wasn't swimming, he was just bobbing in the river and he had no life jacket. And once we got him out, we put a blanket on him and just reassured him. The man identified as 27-year-old Spencer Baker was in a daze. Transport for London employees smashed windows with hammers to get passengers out of a London underground train filled with what appeared to be smoke. This happened at the Clapham Junction Station in South London. On the platform, the train's doors remained closed. People climbed through the broken windows to escape. No injuries were reported in the evacuation. British Transport Police say it was brick dust and not smoke that filled the cabins. It's a miracle everyone walked away from this crash. The Fairfax County Police Department in Virginia says the officer and the occupants of both vehicles sustained minor injuries when an out-of-control BMW crossed a highway median and slammed into a vehicle that was pulled over. Officials say a 17-year-old was behind the wheel of the car and has been charged with reckless driving. Twelve-year-old Caitlin Thornley started sneezing a month ago, and she hasn't been able to stop. Just listen to her. The schoolgirl who lives outside Houston sneezes 12,000 times a day. Sometimes the seventh grader can't complete a sentence. Some kid ends up making fun of me or something like that, and it just gets... The only time the sneezing seems to slow down is when Caitlin listens to music. Even in my dreams, I sleep. I, I sneeze. For now, it's a medical mystery. Doctors have ruled out allergies or a virus. Until they figure it out, Caitlin can't go to school. This man spent Father's Day protecting his child from a gunman. It happened at a gas station in Detroit. Police released video of the incident showing the suspect opened the door to the gas station's convenience store, pulled out a gun and a clip from his pants, inserted the clip, and then pointed it at a man inside who was holding a baby. That protective dad immediately reacted, swatting the gun away and then running further into the store as the gunman retreated outside. The suspect can be seen outside the store backing away before turning around and leaving. I guess the driver didn't go home with the driver's license. This is video of a woman's driving test. The 63-year-old starts off okay and does a few loops around and then somehow manages to drive over the course and into a lamppost. The car rolls over. The woman was taken to the hospital in Argentina with minor injuries. A heartbreaking moment. 
police officers and sheriff's deputies stand shoulder to shoulder, showing their support to a five-year-old boy returning to school for the first time since his father was killed in the line of duty. Little Dakota's father, Rob Pitts, was a 16-year veteran of the Terre Haute, Indiana Police Department. On May 4th, he was killed while investigating a homicide. The day of his funeral, people lined the road. Police from all over were part of the procession and filled an auditorium to remember him. It was a funeral fit for a hero. Officer Pitt's patrol car became a memorial. When it was time to return to school, Dakota had a simple request for his mom. He asked for a police officer to take him to school. Dakota got the shock of his life when not one, but 70 police officers lined the walkway to his school to welcome him back. A masked gunman barges into a restaurant, displays his gun, and screams for the cashier to give him all the cash. The bad guy apparently thought the place was deserted. But look, way in the back there, a husband and wife are trying to enjoy their date night out. Guess what? They're both cops. Detective Chase McCowan and his wife Nicole are newlyweds. They just wanted a quiet night out at one of their favorite restaurants. I could see the man's hands and I could see the firearm in his hand. It wasn't until I saw the cashier's hands go up like this and I looked at him. I was like, is he doing what I think he's doing? When they realized what was happening at the restaurant in Louisville, Kentucky, they leapt out of the booth with guns drawn. Then they charged at the armed robber. They chased him out the door. They held the suspect at gunpoint until backup arrived. And today, these crime-fighting newlyweds are being hailed as heroes. When this young lady sees a dog roaming about her neighborhood, she calls him over. The dog seems friendly enough at first, even if he is a pit bull. But then her little dog Max comes out and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> She protectively picks up Max, but the pit bull won't give up. The terrified young woman cries out. And a hero is about to appear. It's an Amazon driver who puts herself in harm's way, bravely blocking the pit bull. And after the woman and her dog are safely inside, she gives the dog a piece of her mind. He's doing fantastic. A woman walks into her home and a man with a gun tries to follow her inside. Watch again as she moves quickly and good thing. After cops say she locks the door and the robber can't get inside, frustrated, he tears the ring doorbell off. Police in Kent, Washington State are now looking for the gunman in connection with this attempted armed home invasion. They say it may be connected to another incident, both involving families of Asian descent. What is Inside Edition? It's this. And this. And this. And also this. It's sometimes this. It's never this. But it always brings you more to the story. And now it's always available. Inside Edition streaming. This guy is checking on his chickens. Suddenly he's doubled over in laughter. What's so funny? It's his wife in an inflatable chicken costume. <laughs> oh! These amateur python hunters caught a professional sized snake. You got tape on you? I know you carry tape. <laughs> the Southwest Florida Conservancy confirms this Burmese python is the largest ever caught in the state of Florida. Burmese pythons are considered an invasive species in the state. This one measured 19 feet long and weighed 125 pounds. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Dude. Guess what I have? Strawberries with chocolate on them. A sheriff's deputy shared a snack with a temporarily lost child. But the child was surprised with the offering. Why don't you have donuts? <laughs> she asked me why don't I have donuts. <laughs> Kids do say the darndest things. There's a knock at the door. Who could it be? <laughs> That's one dirty little angel. 
Someone's going to need a bath. Dirty. High school cheerleader Ariel Olivar is so skilled, oh. she's considered the number one invisible box challenger oh. in the USA. Oh. The 11th grader from Texas sure makes it look so easy. We caught up with Ariel in New York City, where she showed Inside Edition producer Allison Hall how to do it. So first, you got to show them there's nothing there, there's no invisible box. So now you're going to pat about a foot off the ground. Now remember where your hand is and put your foot there. And so this foot, you have to keep it in the same exact spot the whole time. Ready? One, two, three, jump! <laughs> that is so hard! It sure is. Oh, no. The video is heartbreaking. A great grandma is making a delivery for Domino's Pizza. The elderly woman approaches the front porch with her arms loaded with food. All she needs to do is navigate one step, but down she falls. Dazed and injured, she struggles to get to her feet. The concerned homeowner is shocked to find the woman on the ground. Sorry. Are you okay? I fell. I come downstairs, I open the door, and she's just on the ground. I'm like, oh my God, are you okay? Here I go, boom. I fell on their pasta, and my head was going towards their chair, and I'm going, oh my God, I'm going to lose an eye. <laughs> Barbara Gillespie, age 72, is a retired school lunch lady. She says she took the job with Domino's Pizza because she needed the money. In the right place at the right time. Watch as a man who was choking on his lunch inside a car wash in Boca Raton runs towards a police officer to get his help. The officer quickly does the Heimlich maneuver to save the man's life. You can see how grateful the man was afterwards. A man has been arrested after police say he set a fire in a gas station convenience store, which gave the clerk first-degree burns. The Detroit Police Department released this video of the incident, hoping someone could identify the suspect. The man seemed to dump out the contents of a trash can in the doorway of the store. After exchanging words with the person behind the counter, he uses a blowtorch to light a fire as he exits the store. Police say the store clerk was taken to the hospital for treatment. Army Captain Sarah Cudd would not give up during the final moments of the grueling 12-mile foot march to achieve her expert field medical badge at Fort Dix in New Jersey. The last step in earning the badge was to complete the 12-mile trek in three hours while carrying 70 pounds of gear. With 13 minutes to go, the captain fell to her knees in exhaustion. But with her soldiers cheering her on, she rose to her feet and crossed the finish line. Matt Govier should be FedEx's Employee of the Year after saving a Nebraska family from a rattlesnake while delivering a package. Christy Jones's 12-year-old daughter had just left their house two minutes before the snake's arrival. As Matt arrived with the package, he spotted the rattler oh. and stepped into action. Before leaving, Matt texted Christy to notify her about her reptile situation. I hope you didn't have a pet rattlesnake at your front door because I killed it, he wrote. Sorry about the blood. This Amazon driver is about to get a refreshing surprise as he makes his rounds in the blazing California sun. The homeowner has left a note inviting him to take a dip in the pool. If you want to go for a swim, you are welcome to. And he does. He puts his phone and keys on a table and dives in, fully clothed. He didn't even take off his hat or Amazon vest. Powerful stories that change the way you think. Impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. Mm -hmm. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> Amazing. 
Now available in a place that changes the way you watch TV. Inside Edition, streaming.